Basingstoke Town FC are leaving Camrose, their home of 70 years, to move to Hampshire FA's headquarters at Winklebury. The background is that the owner of the club is selling the land for redevelopment and we've got to find a new home. How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. The first video I've done in a very, very long time. I'm probably excited to say this because I haven't been out for so long. Uh, we are here today with What You After who's currently holding the camera. Yo. And uh, we are at an abandoned football stadium. Today there is a slight change though. Um, I'm actually going to be trying, I don't know how well this is going to work, I'm going to be trying to record this on my phone. So I've got a new phone and it does 8K footage. So we're going to give it a go and see how good this comes out. So uh, yeah, let's get into it and see what we can find. All right, so me and Oscar have just said the exact same thing. We're going to go and check out the stands. You guys remember the last time we explored an abandoned football stadium, police did arrive. Uh, so I think we're going to go check out the best bits first. This is um, pretty run down, I have to admit. It looks like we've had fire damage at some point, um, but it still looks quite cool. There's a lot of stuff here. We've got floodlights over there. Um, we've actually got more of a pitch than the last place we went to. I mean, there was still a pitch last time, but it was just overgrown mess with trees all around it. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Right, so let's check out the main stands. Oscar did just make the point that uh, it might be quite high up, we'll be able to be spotted, but I, I don't think it matters because we're on the ground floor right now and there's houses over there that can see us. So if there's anyone's going to call the police, they'll do it anyway. So uh, I think we're just going to go straight for the stands. There's not many seats here, but a lot of it was a stand up stadium. So you've got like stand up seats here, stand up seats over there as well. But there is an actual stand with seats. Check it out. Some old manky blanky. <laughs> so I've got a towel here. It's absolutely gross. Oscar, you know there's a whole load of seats you can actually sit in. You don't have to make do. <laughs> they do actually, don't they? They don't look that old. They're quite nice looking seats. I rate it three out of four. Three out of four. <laughs> I'm guessing that is like the uh, VIP section. Oh yeah, they get their own. It's like a little. Yeah, a little barricade. Here we go, check this out. So yeah, sponsors and guests. Right, so we've got red seats over here with holes in them. It does make me laugh how you come to some of these stadiums and they're all different seats. You'd think like they'd be the same style, maybe different colours or something. I know that some stadiums have like their flags or whatever, the team badges in the, uh, the seats out of the colours, but sometimes, especially these older ones, you've noticed that there's really old, cheap looking seats. Then there's like newer ones, and then sometimes there's no seats. So it's like, oh, potluck which ones you get, I guess. Sorry? That's the clubhouse. Yeah. I did see a sign that said clubhouse. Yeah, there's a clubhouse over there. We may be able to go and have a look at that. Yeah, we can go and have a look. So Oscar's just made the point that that over there, that building just there, that is actually the clubhouse for this uh, stadium. So we might go and check that out on the way out. Right, so we've checked out the biggest stand. Let's go and check out some of these smaller ones that are dotted around the place. Oscar. Oscar. If we're exploring, then let's explore this pool. <laughs> yeah, well, Oscar. Yeah. I think I found the VIP seats. It wasn't up there, we were wrong. <laughs> There's the VIP seat. <laughs> you know what? If it wasn't. Yeah, it's going to be damp. It's going to be so damp. <laughs> <laughs> you're not sitting on like 
Don't fancy a VIP seat then, though. No. Oh. I'm quite happy with the ones with no back. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on camera. <laughs> yeah, nice little hop. These old banners. Uh, yeah. I think they are, aren't they? They're the old banners you'd have up on the wall. No idea what they would have said. No. They're just a paper mache now. Yeah. Wow, we see how much it cost. What? One pound. One pound. One pound. That's one that's pound. that's mad. One pound. Is this like the training area? Yeah, they've got all the old bottles. <gasps> oh, that's cool. That is cool, actually. I think this is supposed to be like a five-side training thing in the back. There's an AstroTurf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, so, wait. I'm I don't know, maybe they've got the kids in there. They're quite small though, aren't they? So. Uh, junior Dragon. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, so it's the kids. The kids stuff. <laughs> it's an ambulance, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the many sort of stand-up stands where there's no seats and stuff. Quite a common thing, isn't it, when we go through these sorts of size stadiums. I think the smaller teams. Yeah. Have this budget, I suppose. Isn't it? I suppose, yeah. I mean, that's a tiny stack, really. It's not. Yeah, it's not big, especially compared to the last place we went to. That was much bigger, wasn't it? Really. I'm, I'm surprised they've made it higher up instead of making it wider. Yeah. Because I feel like they probably could have got more seats. There. Yeah, probably actually, because there is like a bit of a dead space there, isn't it? Yeah. It's not really used for anything. There's a big old mound in there. Look, Can you see that. <laughs> football team. <laughs> you did shit, we're closing the club and burying you in it. See, I think one of the best things about these small ones is looking at the sponsors, because obviously big games you're used to sort of seeing yeah. the sponsors, and you, you see like sponsors you know, but there's a lot of sponsors in small stands. I know, <laughs> it's like like that. They're like small local businesses. You're just like. Yeah, to be fair, that's that's 100% true. So we go flaming grill, peri peri chicken burger kebabs, Basing Stoke chauffeur style. They just turn up with a man in a hat. He drives your own car for you. <laughs> Right guys, I think we're mostly done at this place. Uh, we're going to check out the building we just said about, which is outside, which is the clubhouse. And I think we're going to get some drone shots. Look, this is, I didn't really realise these are actually stands as well. When they're diddy, I mean, obviously. It costs one pound to stand over there. It cost it's probably free. Don't know. You look so small from up here. That's so the last thing I want to check out. I think these are supposed to be ticket booths. I know we came through one, but these look like they're also old ticket booths over here. Proper smashed to pieces now, but there's still remnants of an old turnstile just here. So this is the other side, so I'm guessing this is where they had all the ticket machines and whatever. Very weird, kind of window. And then this would have opened, and it would have served through that. How cool is that? And just to show you the other side as well, so that one's obviously still intact. This one's been ripped out, so the turnstile's gone, but so is the booth. But the door is still there. How weird is that? Just in case I haven't actually mentioned this before, this is uh, Basingstoke Town FC. And so this is the stadium we're looking at. It does say Premier League, although I doubt this would have been a Premier Premier League team, but I don't know if Premier League's maybe part of the whole organisation, including all the other leagues below. But uh, yeah, pretty cool though. Right. Oh, where's turns as well? How easy is that? That seems to be a cinema. <laughs> so Oscar's just pointed out that there's actually a coral betting shop over there, literally what, that far from the stadium. So I guarantee people would have gone over there and had a bit of a flutter while they were waiting for the game. Absolutely, 100%. So here's the old clubhouse, as it says, Basingstoke Town FC. And you can just about see, I'm not sure we can get into this or not, but there is a bar and stuff inside. 
we'll have a quick look around, but it is pretty well overlooked by the uh, betting shop over there, so I don't think we're going to be able to get in. We'll, uh, we'll give it a go, we'll see. Ask us if we can. Coffee shop's open. I want, I want a coffee, to be fair. I'm still half asleep. I could do with coffee. Oh, Ooh, there's a new... Th how mouldy that is. Oh my god. That is mank. Oh. They've got damn I was, I was actually going to look at the newspaper, because that newspaper looks proper old. Go oh. through bins often. <laughs> Oh. Is it not loud? <laughs> Friday, November the 6th, 2020. <laughs> oh for God's sake. I've just gone for a bin for nothing. <laughs> So that is it for this location, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is going to be my first video back in 2021, so I'm currently right now going out trying to explore quite a few places, get some videos in the bag so you don't have a big gap like we have the last few months. Obviously that hasn't all been my fault, Covid's been a pain in the ass this year, as you know. But for now that is it, please go check out Oscar's channel which is in the description down below. I'll see you guys again next time. See ya! Wrapping a rag around my face, I pull my hoodie on This uh. ain't no time for rookies young Got my octo camo on Camel So the wind can't be worried about no five or special ops special I keep my composer steady, thunder to follow gold Cause I'm off the top Cause You're I'm a mirror of the